Do you want a three by three house that literally has everything in it, a working enchanting table, brewing stand, infinite water sources, all of the work stands, and a nice little path that isn't in the three by three? Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my house tutorial series, and we are on a hill on an island pretty desolated we have not got a lot of space so we are going to try and build ourselves a three by three house not allowed to go outside of three by three i am allowed to go downwards but i'm not allowed to go upwards more than three either so the cube above the ground is three by three by three but i can go down a little bit because we've got to try and fit in as many and i mean as many of the blocks as we possibly can that are new to 114 all the workstations so as we've got a fully functional house it is going to be a bit of a challenge so let's crack on now this is all the stuff that i'm likely to be using you see all of the workstations that i can possibly cram in also enchanting tables and brewing stands yeah i know i've lost my mind let's crack on so right there, that is my template. Inside there is a three by three square. I can't go out onto the carpet. The carpet's there to stop me cheating. Now, remember, this ain't gonna be pretty. This is a very restrictive build, but we'll see what we can't get in there. So we're gonna try and do this freestyle. Oh no, I need my bumps red. Now, it's gonna stay within the three by three. I've already said I can go down, although I'm not gonna go down a lot, but I can't come up more than three so that's hugely restrictive if you think about you've got to put roofs and stuff on there as well so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to knock this out and i'm going to go down i think three let's keep it all the three shall we and then in the base of the three i'm going to come down and i'm going to put in a blast furnace i'm going to put in a smoker and i'm going to put in a normal furnace i think that is okay and then I'm going to come on this side. I'm going to put down a bed on there. Um, we're going to put in a crafting table there. And a cartography table right there. I then want to put in... Uh, making it up as I go along. I'm going to put in a brewing stand. And that can be... some water so as oh, that's not going to work is it that's not going to work so i've got to take out that and that right so that's water for the brewing stand i'm going to need a half slab quick 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 give me a give me a slab give me a slab right and on that slab i'm going to put that slab there and that slab there that gives us space then here i need to put the smoker back because I, I knocked the smoker out, didn't it? It was the smoker, wasn't it? Yep, so I put the smoker back there because that can then replace what was going there. That was just a normal block. So we are all good. All right, we're all good so far. I've had a bit of a brainwave because I'm going to struggle to access this fella if I start building on top of it. So I'm thinking out loud. So if I take out that, have I got, because I, I think I knocked out my crafting table before, didn't I? If I take out that, put a crafting table there, uh, put the bed going across this slab because that's perfectly reasonable now if I take that out and I put stairs there that will block out the water perfectly happily but if I'm stood on these stairs I can still access that crafted table I can still access that blast furnace so we are all right so what we can then do is we can put in, you know what, fletching table. We don't want that, it doesn't even work. Same as the smithing table. Can't do anything with it at the minute, so why do we bother? Let's put in a loom. Loom there. Thank you very much. I can still access the blast furnace. I can access the loom. I can access that furnace there, which means I can't put anything on the top of that. But what I can do is I can get a trap door and I can create a little, uh, a little shelf doodad that can go in, that can go there, can flap down if I want to access stuff. Uh, and on top of that, I can put something else. What can I put on top of that? One wonders. Um, barrel. Let's put a barrel on top of that because then the barrel is plenty accessible from every area. And if I can't get to that, I've got some struggles. No, I think we're all right. I think we're actually looking okay. If I then on this side as well, put in a shelf there on that shelf i can put done a cartography table that shelf i can put a composter so the composter can go there 
and then I can flip that down and access that cartography table if we block stuff up. Oh, I think we're getting close. Now the next big challenge is the enchanting table because I wanna be able to power it with at least one bookshelf. That's kind of the rule. So I'm thinking, but we can't have anything in the way of it. So how are we gonna do it? I've also got to work out how I'm gonna get up. I'll tell you what, if I get up there, I reckon that'll work. Um, up and down into the house through that route. Um, how about, how about, how about, if I put the enchanting table there, uh, no, that's no good, it can't go there. If I put bookshelves there, is that powering the enchanted table there? Oh, it is, that's powering the enchanting table, but that means I can't put anything in that space, and I can't put anything in that space, so that's no good, can't do that. I need, I'll tell you, let's put the grindstone there, and the enchanting table on top of the grindstone. How about that? That means that I can put stuff either side of the enchanting table without any problems. And we're not gonna compromise anything. I might have to compromise that one there though, might I know? Um, in fact, I'm absolutely gonna have to compromise that one there. So let's just get rid of that. We'll keep that one open. Well, that one doesn't matter, does it? Cause the shelf, does that ladder block it? I don't know. In the comments, hashtag ladder blocks. Is that going to block? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I think that is actively powering it. Now, I'm stood on my bed wondering what on earth I'm going to do next. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put in the fletching table and I'm going to put in the smithing table because one day they will be valid blocks and that day will mean that this house is still a valid house. I've still got to put in somehow, coming up, I've still got to put in this stone cutter somewhere somehow i'm not sure you know what i'm going to do i'm going to take that out i'm going to put the stone cutter on the shelf and i'm then going to put the composter no that was a barrel wasn't it hang on was it a barrel or a composter no the composter's there and i'm going to put the barrel wherever the barrel's gone that barrel i'm going to put the barrel there on top of the stone cutter because then i can access the barrel if I come into the water, can I access the barrel from under? Oh, I can! Brilliant! Right, so we can access the barrel from under there, which means if we cover the barrel up with anything or get that barrel like that, it doesn't matter, although we won't cover it up because it's level with the ground. And then what we can do, oh, I've had an idea, I've had an idea. Then what we can do is we can put, where's my dirt? I can put, I'm getting excited. I'm going to put my dirt there. I can put my bucket of water there. I can hoe that dirt like that and i can plant some seeds there we go so now we are seeded as well as everything else this is going all right i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy um got another challenge now though and i so i am staring at this and staring at this and wondering how can i make it secure because that's kind of my next challenge what i do want to do is i want to be able to get some light into there um let's put too high there for those for now if i if i then bring that across like that and put that there like that that then that torch will light up for that won't it say so, yes uh, except it looks ugly with cobble have i got some wood right so if i pop that there like that if I just dig this down so I don't get underneath it if I pop that like that replace that um, and put that up like that that can then be like that yeah does that work oh 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 I've had an idea I've had an idea um where's my trapdoor where's my trapdoor right so if I were to no hang on now that won't work because that will build there. If I put that like that, and like, oh, no, 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 no. Right, so like that, and then shift, click that up. That then blocks that out completely. It's still within, then if I put that like that, hang on, hang on, this might work. This might actually work. If I put that like that, and then shift that on top of that, and that flaps up, ha, <laughs> brilliant, we've done it. Right, so that, blocks out that area which is perfect and if I then want to come and harvest all I need to do hang on I'm just having a thought if I put that like that that's better there you go again I'm never give up never give up never give up right so then I can access that beautifully from there 
okay now we're right now so using this idea because i think i can't put a door on on ladders so i've got to put the door here so i've got to put my door there that's where the door's got to go if i put glass there so as you can see in and then i then get a trap door that goes on top of the ladder no 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 on top of the ladder like that um, and then another trap door like that that flaps up there that's beautiful i've got a slight issue on this side though and i getting in um Am I going to address that? I know not. Plug this fella up because I don't think I've got any more. No, I haven't. We can bring that one up there like that. And we can put same trap door. This is so ugly. Same trap doorage on top of the enchanting table. Like that and like that. That's great. So the only issue is um, how am I going to do that? Right, while I'm thinking about that, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the roof on it. This is ugly as sin. Oh my goodness, look at the state of it. But what I can then do is I can put a barrel on there and create... Do I want a pitched roof or do I want... Um, yeah, I think I will. Let's put a pitched roof on this like that. And we can plop that there. And we can on there like that. So we've got light that goes into... I've just had an idea. Oh, 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 hang on. Right, so if I do this, that and that, mobs can't get in there, right? Mobs can't get in. Neither can I, frankly. But if I flap them down, I can get in. And then I just flap them up again. And then I put a torch there to light it up inside here. Um... Right, is there anything I've not done? I do believe we've only gone and done it. I just need to jazz it up around the outsides a little and then we are sorted. So we have just washed up on this island and we're desperate for a three by three house because that is how we roll. And we're coming up this nice path that we've created with lots of bushes and fences and light. And we find this lovely little ramshackle shack. Looking around it, it looks as if it might suit our three by three needs. But we need to find a way in. Oh, fortunately, we understand the mechanisms of trapdoors. And in we come inside here. Closing the trapdoors up, if I can actually get them. There we go. And we have got an inside area here that if we come and stand on this point here, we can access all of our bits and pieces. So let's just test this. Cartography table, check. Furnace, check. Brewing stand, check. Blast furnace, check. Crafting table, check. Obviously can't access the smithing table or the fletching stand as yet, but they are definitely accessible. We've got our enchanting table is accessible. We've got our crops there are accessible. The enchanting table is being boomed as a result of everything there. We can get water out of that little doodah there. We can access our smoker. We can access our loom. We can come up and we can come out again and everything is exactly as it should be. <laughs> that was brilliant making it up as you go along. I really enjoyed doing that. That thing is literally ugly as sin, but it does fit the three by three. Nothing is outside of that three by three. And I've only gone down three as well. So it's three by three by three by three by three. I don't know how many threes I've done there, but that's what it is. It works. If you like this, let me know. And if you want me to do other somethings by somethings, do let me know that as well. It'll be a really fun challenge. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.